I spoke to you from the beginning that the town is named Stone Town, okay? Because of the materials which came to be used to build it, which are coral stones and soil. That is from the big buildings. The bottom to the end, there is no cement, there is no metal bars. The buildings are very fragile. But we are very lucky, no earthquakes, no hurricanes, no storms. Otherwise, most of them okay, must be gone. And, and stones, no soil in between, no cement. Sand and stones, wow. So that the buildings are very fragile. I don't know, I'm away. But they're lucky, no earthquakes. Otherwise, most of them must be gone. Some of them outside are looking dark. We spoke about it. This is because of the sea breezes containing salty plus humidity makes them to go dark. And those are public buildings which don't have enough money to keep them repainted. And for those which are looking nice painted outside are private owned. And for most of them, of the buildings, people are living on top. Bottom wise are for shops and the other businesses. The town is built with narrow streets. We had a walk through them. Remember that 1800, no cars in Zanzibar. There were donkeys and horses. That's why the Arabs built it with narrow streets. Again, from the year 2000 is when UNESCO came to take over. So that from that time to this time, this town is a wet heritage site. And UNESCO are protecting outside. That is, we cannot do anything outside without UNESCO advice. Wait mm. for them and then let you know. They do let you know how to make it. Can I ask a question? Terrible. Yes, sir. <laughs> Who runs or operates in UNESCO? UNESCO is a... I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know who does it. This is a United Nations organization. The who so run the United Nations? Nations. The only thing yeah. run the United States. United Nations. Okay, maybe I know. And they still run things? Sorry? Do they still run things? In I think. Africa here? I think so. This is a way to why. United Nations are yeah, the ones. But, yeah, but you know, know the United States run are you the still, United Nations. Yeah. And you still have to wait and before you pick up. Africa is so white and they're still. I mean, you know, we need the, you gotta have the white daddies tell you what to do. You need, no. you need the white daddies to tell you what to do. We are. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. The rules and the and the and the and the regulations. Why should they follow their laws? Africa should make their own laws. I agree with you. Yeah, but agree with me. Take it to your parliament. I agree with you, but this is not not today. Maybe tomorrow we can make it. But until today. We yeah. are relying on them. No, you uh, shouldn't. Yeah, they, and this is the reason why they don't treat you guys with respect. Right, they good really point. They don't respect you. Yeah. I agree. Our economy, our economy, our, our, no, our economy no, not do better than is not yeah, better yeah. enough to say let us stand on ourselves. That's true. We can't stand on ourselves. We yeah. have enough resources yes. to stand on ourselves. But see, uh, I agree with you, and yeah. I believe that in Africa we are with oh, enough natural resources. And this is what they are doing now. Yes, yeah. which we can use and make <laughs> us stand on ourselves. Well, but our problem is our right. leaders. Yeah. Our leaders, yeah, got some. Yeah, leadership, yeah, leadership is off the. Understand. The leaders are getting sensible and they're trying to break away from that colonial. Yes, understand. They're breaking away bit by bit. Mm -hmm. You know that gun and the Swiss, Swiss coffee and all those things, the chocolate? Like I see. Gun seems to control that now. Mm -hmm. Before it was the Swiss country to control it. I agree with you. So, so the leadership and our politics are making us stay behind. Otherwise, this must be for us. But you Wait, on our own. But you guys have to rise up. Because if you don't rise mm. up and speak out, the government continues to do as you speak because they're taking away your power. If you don't use your power to speak up, mm -hmm. now it falls right back into the government hands. Mm -hmm. I agree with you, but uh, I hope. Next time, we'll make it. <laughs> what the, well, that's the American <laughs> corner right there. American corner right there in Zanzibar. Ah, American corner. It studies of the languages, in Swahili and other languages. Oh, yeah. The next over there. Oh, and and then we are now driving through the creek road. So this road is dividing the new town and the old one. Left side stone town, okay? Right side the new town. All together, it is Zanzibar town. 
Mm-hmm. Are the buildings yeah. still being made out of sand and stone? Which one? The new town? No, not made of bricks. And cement. Okay. okay, not like stone town. Okay, made of stones and the and the and the and the and the sand, like the stone town. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what's gonna be in the new town? The new town are the new buildings. Built by the locals, most of them. Okay. Are they gonna be homes? Oh yes, homes and offices. Remember that Stone Town is a very small town. And before we had some offices, but they are not big enough. That is why we are now shifting some offices, okay? Building, more buildings, big ones in the new town. Otherwise, Stone Town, the buildings over there, most of them are residential buildings for people to live in, okay? Not for the offices. I am very happy from the challenges you are giving me. I I I wish I could be Zanz but president. I understand. Yes, I agree with you. But anyway, yeah, that is how it is. And then we are back here. We visited here the market in Selvin, down over there. Our market is now under renovations. Wow. Some some open but not much yet like it was before. So do the women, black women in Tokyo, they live, do they have like their own community? European, Indian, African, they all have their own isolated communities? Uh, yes, we don't have yet such kind of isolated communities. Our communities are communities which are combining every, everyone. For example, in Zanzibar today, we don't have any kind of a political party which is based on religion. All the political parties are for everyone. We belong to the same political parties. We are belonging to the same communities. So that from the communities around here, you can meet the Muslims are there, the Christians are there, whatever it is. Combination of each and everyone. And that's where they live together like that? Yeah, that's where we live together, yes. Yes, we take care of each other. And we don't care who are you, who I am. You are a Muslim, I'm, I'm a Christian. We don't care. We are calling each other brothers and sisters. Kaka. Kaka is brother. We call each other brothers and sisters. We are all of us speaking one language. We can understand each other. You can see. We can see the 10 children around here walking alone. Nobody is escorting them. Our policy is my children are yours and yours are mine. So that we take care of children of each other. You can see we are dressing the same. Those ladies who are in black, covering their faces, leaving all eyes, are not only Muslims. Some of them are Christians. Wow. They can do it. They do it for privacy. For privacy. Make yeah. sure that people cannot see you and find out. Absolutely. They, they do it. Okay. Uh, uh, 